Welcome to CareLink SF, eClinical Works, EMR training, read only access. ECW is the electronic medical health record used at the San Francisco Department of Public Health community and hospital based clinics. Read only access. Consistent with HIPAA regulations, users with read only access are expected to use ECW to only view patient health information to perform patient care related activities. Users with read only access will not enter documentation in the system, including marking laboratory and diagnostic imaging results as reviewed or entering other documentation or actions on these results. Creating new telephone encounters, actions or messages, or writing addendums on existing notes. Users with read-only access are responsible for notifying their clinic's medical director immediately if any clinical documentation is routed to them. Users accessing ECW will destroy any protected health information printed from the system after using it for clinical care needs. Learning objectives. Viewing patient health information in ECW, such as lab and diagnostic imaging results, procedures, immunizations and therapeutic injections, allergies, encounters, which include telephone encounters and progress notes, medical and OB summaries, medications, and patient documents. To log into ECW, you will need to access your ECW icon from the SFDPH desktop. Enter your user ID, which may be your CHN number or LCR login. If this is your first time logging into ECW and you are not given a default password, you may call Help Desk to get a temporary password. First things first, verify that you are the correct user by checking the top left hand side of your screen. Your home screen may default to either the office visit screen or the resource schedule, depending on your user settings. In order to search for a patient in the system, select your patient lookup icon on the top left. From your patient lookup window, you may search for your patient by name, social security number, date of birth, medical record number, etc. I'll go ahead and search for a test patient by last name before selecting your patient, you may verify the patient's first and last name, date of birth, phone number, and account number, which is the same as the medical record number. I'll go ahead and double click on my patient's name, and this will direct me to the patient's hub, which is the one-stop shop for accessing and viewing my patient's medical record. You will see the patient's information at the top as far as name, address, date of birth, MRN, contact information, insurance, PCP, last and next appointment details. Above the patient's information, you'll be able to access labs, diagnostic imaging, procedures, immunizations, injections, allergies, etc. Labs. Click here to view a list of all ordered and resulted labs for this patient. You can view the results individually by clicking on the pink or gray paperclip next to each lab. The pink paperclip denotes that the lab results were electronically sent through the interface, and the gray paperclip denotes that the results were either manually scanned or faxed and attached to the order. On the left, you can view a list of lab categories to narrow the results. Click on the pink paper clip to view the lab results. You can also select a cumulative report from the top right to view a cumulative report of all labs. Here you can set a date range. You can also view a cumulative report for a lab category or for a specific lab. Next is the DI tab. It has a very similar view as the lab results. 
You can select a category from the left-hand side. Otherwise, by clicking on the pink paperclip next to each test, you can view radiology reports and actual diagnostic imaging from Webpax. Click on Procedures to view any procedures performed in clinic and any notes documented by clinical staff. Immunizations and therapeutic injections. You can view your patient's immunization reports and any injections that were administered in the past. Click on Immunization Schedule. For any immunizations that come in a series, you'll be able to view the date each dose was administered, as well as a forecast for when the next dose is due. The flu schedule will allow you to see if the patient has received their yearly flu vaccination. The Referrals tab will allow you to access outgoing referrals that have been made for the patient. We do not use ECW for incoming referrals. The Allergies option will allow you to view the patient's allergies and his or her reaction to the allergen. CDSS stands for Clinical Decision Support System. Click here to see recommended standard generic alert parameters based on the patient's sex, age, and diagnoses. The Alert tab will allow you to view reminders including practice and patient-specific alerts of what's due for the patient, as well as other pertinent healthcare maintenance information. On the right-hand side of the patient's hub is the right chart panel. This will default to the Overview tab. Here, you'll see the most up-to-date information, such as any global alert set for the patient, if they have any advanced directives on file, their active problem list, medication summary, allergies, immunizations, and therapeutic injections. The next tab is the DRTLA tab. This stands for documents, referrals, telephone encounters, labs, and actions. Here you can see the patient's labs that have been ordered and or resulted, their diagnostic images, procedures, telephone encounters, outgoing referrals, documents, and actions. The following tab is the patient's history, which includes the patient's medical history, surgeries noted in the past, family health history, social and hospitalization history. Now we'll go over some of the patient hub functions. The encounters button will allow you to view all the patient's encounters, including telephone encounters and progress notes. You will also see future and canceled appointments here. You may filter by encounter type, encounters specific to provider, resource, facility, or diagnosis. Here you will see the encounter date, time, type, whether it's a telephone encounter or an actual visit, status, appointment provider, resource code, facility, and reason for the encounter. You may double click on any encounter to view any documentation. The medical summary option will allow you to view the patient's medical summary and OB summary if applicable. From this window, you have the option to customize what sections you would like to include by selecting your view options or print facts options at the bottom. I'll go ahead and select problem list, medication, medical summary, vitals and immunizations. The Rx tab will show you the patient's medication list. You can group by date or medication. You can also click on the H icon to view the history of each medication. Patient docs. Patient-specific documents are stored here and organized by files on the left-hand side. Select any document to view. Note that documents in blue text are still being reviewed 
and those highlighted in red are marked as high priority. You may print or fax any document using the options above. To print or fax multiple documents, select Multi-Doc. From this window, you may compile multiple documents by selecting each document and clicking Add. You may then fax or print. Thank you for watching Carelink SF's Read Only Access Overview. For questions or suggestions, email us at carelinksftraining at sfdph.org.